can't see this right there, can you? It's looking kind of dark. Oh, what's good? We're going to say Shalom Wam. We're going to all praises to Yahweh, Bashan, Yahweh Shai, Bashan, Kaka Dash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS. Shalom Wam to all you Akim. Hey, boy, you want to read that Habakkuk? How you doing? Uh, two, one. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me. Who has to answer when I refuse? And, uh, uh, and how will answer me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables and he may run that read it. Oh, yeah, so the Lord, he wrote that vision. He said he did read it, that he's going to run. You know what I mean? That vision we're talking about we, is the, the vision of the last days. Uh, so-called, you know, Armageddon, Judgment Day. Well, go ahead. And how, uh, it's like it says, for the vision is yet for a point of time. Oh, it's for an appointed time. You know, and that point of time was the last days, and we in the last days right now. When was Habakkuk written? That book was written like, what, 2,600 years ago, something like that, give or take. Go ahead. But at that time was not back then. That time is now. Go ahead. It says, but the end, uh, provision just put for, for a point in time, but at the end it shall speak. Oh, it said, at the end it shall speak. And you can tell we at the end of this thing. You know we in the last days. Go ahead. It's not lie. I was tarry. going to speak, it ain't going to lie. Like the Bible speaking about it, America's going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. That's in the scripture. The scriptures say that America gonna be destroyed. And that's gonna happen. It ain't like the Lord ain't no liar. He said Babylon the Great is falling. It's falling. Go ahead. Do it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Now that's people be talking shit out. Because we be telling people all the time the Lord finna come back to this earth. People always running him out. He ain't coming back. He would have been came back. Yeah, that's the Bible's bullshit. You know, that's what these people think. You ain't got no faith. But we know the Lord going to come back. And he's going to destroy this place. He's going to destroy it with fire. Yeah, that's a good script. Yeah, you know, like, I believe it was uh, we discussing that this week. This week out there. Trump is backing up and shit. He's talking about he was just gonna put sanctions after the little Iran attack. You know, but it, it seems like it's turning. But really, that's beautiful though, because that just shows how America. That just shows how America is weak. Because normally, imagine if Iraq or some weak ass nation like Africa attacked America, that motherfucking shit would be leveled in, in, in seconds. But yeah. your boy Trump shows uh, so conscious. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he's scared. He knows Iran ain't no help. That's good. Yeah, that's probably he got a call from Vladimir Putin. That could, he got scared. Hey, that's why right right after that uh, Iraq thing went down, uh, Iran thing went down. United States they killed Soleimani, and everybody thought we was going to war with Iran. And during that same time, Russia started testing hypersonic missiles. They was like, oh shit, we getting ready. So that's probably why Trump really pulled out of that thing. He seen those missiles. You know what I mean? They afraid because he know America got what's the scripture say the devil got but a short time. He knows time's almost up. That's why he's being careful. He think he can be careful. He can uh, escape his destruction. You can't escape it. You can't stop it. Try to use a different, he gonna try to probably use a different way so he can 
Bible said in prophecy, but that's not the Lord's gonna make him the Lord's gonna harden his heart. And make him because he's a greedy bastard, so he's gonna harden his heart and still attack Iran, even though obviously it's not smart to do so. Right, right, it's like harden the Pharaoh's heart. And the most high control everything. He controls all the leaders of the world. He controls everything. Uh, Proverbs 30, uh, 21 and, and 1 it says, The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh, as the rivers of water he turneth it whither of soever he, he will. Yeah. Right, so when the United States you know, gets in this third world war, that was really the most high behind it. They didn't choose to do that. It was the most high was behind that. And that's why he read in that Habakkuk, he said, uh, it, that it will not tarry, it will surely come. Talking about the destruction. That destruction is certainly going to come. And yeah, these people in America, they think they can't be touched. They think America is untouchable. America is not untouchable. America is going to get touched. And it's going to get destroyed. And that's what's coming. You say in the car. Yeah. yeah. What's going on right here? Lord, just save the face for that. Right. Because right now, the, all hell breaking loose across the world. You got... Uh, you got fires in Australia. The whole goddamn continent of Australia on fire. You got damn volcanoes erupting in the Philippines. All kind of people gonna die over there. You got earthquakes in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico been got fucked up. They, you know what I mean? They got messed up by them hurricanes. Now they getting hit with earthquakes. You got war popping off with Iran. You got Russia testing hypersonic missiles. Now hypersonic missiles, they can't be stopped. It ain't no defense system for that. It ain't been invented yet. So really, Russia could shoot missiles at any time if they wanted to. But that's for a point in time. Because really, the, uh, before the destruction comes, really the mark of the beast prophecy got to be all the way fulfilled. But soon, they can, have, they can stage a terror attack now. Now, now all the... Now but now all these people... They afraid of Iran right now. You know what I mean? They know that uh, America is the enemies with Iran now. So they can just stage a terror attack and blame it on the Iranians. And then they can implement the market of peace. They can like, everybody got to have a microchip so we know your identity. You know what I'm saying? So we know who's going in and out of the country to help keep America safe. And they're going to do that. Gathered together. Where she see that? You see all them nations gathering. Yeah, that's funny too, right? Cause where, where, where's all these wars always popping off? We're over there in the Middle East. Cause everybody know that's what some shit gonna go down over there. The Battle of Armageddon. It's all gonna be started over there. It says Yahweh host must rift the house, the host of the battle. Mustard's the host, but he's the one that controls it and put everybody together so they can fight. Hey, Exodus 15 and 3 said, The Lord is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. So he don't want. It has been number warfare throughout the history of mankind. Number war. That's because that's the will of the Most High. Oh, get that Matthew 10 and 34. That's how the Lord going to bring in his kingdom. He's going to bring in his kingdom through these wars. Yeah, I got it. Let's uh, get this real quick. They said, think, hey, hey, that's another thing, too, because, you know, the uh, the churches teach that, oh, Jesus is nothing but love, God's nothing but love, you know what I mean? 
But that's not what the scripture said. That was read the scripture. Think not that I come to send peace on earth. Hey, so this is red letters. He said, think not that I come to send peace on earth. Go ahead. I came not to send peace but a sword. I came not to send peace but a sword. So that's what the Lord's bringing to the earth is a sword. But the earth is wicked. The earth is evil. The people are evil. So the Lord coming back to the earth, he's going to kill and destroy. And there shall be few that shall be saved. Only a few people going to make it. Compa you know what I mean? Compared to those that are getting destroyed, the percentages. It's uh, Zephaniah 3 and 8. It says, that, this is right, ain't it? Wherefore, wait ye upon me, save Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, even on my fierce anger. Whew. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Oh, so the Lord said he got fierce anger. And the Christians ain't too sad, are they? They say he's nothing but love. There's no anger and God don't get angry. Hey, hey, let me continue. This is a good scripture. Uh, this is Zephaniah 3 and 9. For then will I turn to the people of pure language, that they may call upon the name of Yahweh to serve him with one consent. Right? Because when we get to the kingdom of heaven, everything going to get set back in its proper place. We ain't going to be nobody speaking English in the kingdom. In the kingdom, we're going to speak Hebrew. Because the kingdom is going to be ruled by the nation of Israel. The Israelites speak Hebrew. Okay, so that's going to be, the, the Lord going to give us the pure language. And we're going to speak it right. He's going to put it in our spirit. And that's what we're going to speak it. And we're going to sing, like, like we talked about it last week. We're going to sing the song of Moses and the song of the Lamb. And we're going to sing it in Hebrew, not English. So the Lord going to destroy everything in this world. He can destroy, the Lord going to destroy America. He going to destroy these people's customs. He going to destroy your way of life. He going to destroy your language. In the kingdom, everything going to be pure. You know, the scriptures are written in Hebrew anyway. We're reading out an English Bible. The Bible is not written in English. It was written in Hebrew. Oh, what you got something? You got anything? Uh... That's good. Actually, you know what? I'm sorry. Look, let me read a little bit more here. I was just looking at it. Let me get this. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my supplicants, even the daughter of my dispersed, shall bring mine offering. And that day shalt thou not be ashamed for all thy doings, wherein thou hast transgressed against me. For then I will take away out of the midst of thee them that rejoice in thy pride, and thou shalt no more be haughty because of my holy mountain. Right, because in the kingdom, the Lord, he's going to, like, we all sin. We all do, you know, we all do wicked shit. But in the kingdom, the Lord going to purify us. He's going to change our heart. He's going to change our spirit. So we ain't never going to sin. It's going to be impossible. Uh, I will also leave in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people, and they shall trust in the name of Yahweh. The remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity. Oh, look, this is talking about the kingdom of heaven. Too. That's talking about the last days, the kingdom. It's, it's talking about Israel. You know what I'm saying? It's talking about the because the kingdom is for Israel. The remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies, neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth. For they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. Right? Because right now, you know, everybody got deceitful. Everybody a liar. Everybody lying. Always lying to their friends and families. Or robbing. You people be robbing their own family shit. You know what I mean? Your brother, dad, mom, anybody go to work. You up in their dresser looking for stuff, stealing jewelry, stealing money. And you know, really, most people are liars and thieves. Sing, O daughter of Zion, shout, O Israel. It didn't say shout, O all nations. It says shout, <laughs> it didn't say shout, O you Gentiles. It said, it says, shout, O Israel, be glad and rejoice with all the heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord hath taken away thy judgments, he hath cast out thine enemy. 
the king of Israel, even Yahweh, is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil anymore. I mean, that's pretty much the part I can keep going on. Revelation 17 and 16 says, the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the Lord and shall make her desolate. Yeah, who's the beast? The beast? The beast in the Bible? That's how you know this talking about America. Because the beast is, what is a beast? A beast is a mighty military empire. Like there was uh, four beasts spoken of in the scriptures. Okay, first beast was the Babylonians. That was a mighty military power. Then you had the Persians and the Medes. Then you had Alexander the Great and the Macedonians. And then you had the, the Roman Empire, the final beast, the dragon, which America is the Roman Empire, reborn. Okay, so America is the beast along with NATO. Okay, and America is known as the whore that rises upon the beast. And the beast is the military, but America controls it. Oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah. I they already got Turkey was a member of NATO, but they go, they always going against the United States now. You know what I mean? That's gonna be the first one. The Turkey got a big military too. It says, give the kingdom unto the beast, until the words of God shall be filled. And shall eat her flesh and burn it with fire. Huh. The they shall eat her flesh and burn it with fire, bro. When I want it says, For God hath put it in their heart to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast and to the words of God shall be fulfilled. Right, so the, so the Most High, he controls all the hearts of the leaders of the world. All the presidents, the kings, or whatever, senators, everybody. Shit, he controls every last person out here. So the Most High, he the one making the decision. Everything is moving on his time. It's all working to the end to fulfill these prophecies. We know America's going to be destroyed. I mean, look at it. Hey, uh, let me get that real quick. I'm going to get a scripture. We, I'm going to prove to how you know this place is going to be destroyed. I can find a scripture. I'm still not used to this body. Uh, Amos 9 and uh, 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon the simple kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving I will not utterly destroy the house of uh, Jacob, save the Lord. So the Lord said his eyes are upon the simple kingdom. He's going to utterly destroy it from off the face of the earth. So is not America a simple kingdom? You, everything in this society based around sin. People doing whatever the hell they want to do. Shit, in America, you can, you can worship whatever God you want. You can be a homosexual. You can be a tranny. You can worship the devil. You can be a pagan. You can be a witch. They got you can, they got actual stores you can go to. They got witch stores where you can buy your witch merchandise. You can go to the fortune teller. You know what I mean? Everything in America is, is set up against the Bible. Okay, so this is a sinful kingdom. That's how you know the Lord going to destroy this place, man. It don't stand a chance. He's going to destroy this place just like he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. It's going to get turned into a pile of ashes. <laughs> hey, that put a smile on your face, though. You know what I mean? When you're down and out, you always feel like shit out here. When you think about the scriptures, you read the scriptures, and you see the talking about this place, place getting burned with fire, that put a smile on your face, man. Hey, that's hope right there. That's hope. People, you know the Christian church when talking about hope. We give a give them a hope. Now this is how you give people a hope. You tell them this place is gonna be destroyed. And all your problems with it. <laughs> hey, you might go with it, shit. Two thirds of Israel gonna be destroyed. Uh, Proverbs 14 and 32, the wicked is driven away in his wickedness, but the righteous have hope to death. Ooh, where is that at? Let me see that one. Read that again. Where is that at? Part 14 and 32. Part 14 and 32? Yes, sir. I gotta memorize that one. Ooh, he's driven away in his wickedness, but the righteous have hope in his death. Ooh, the righteous has hope in his death. See, we have we have hope that the Lord gonna destroy our enemies. We know, and we be praying that the Lord destroys our enemies. 
That's scripture. You know the Christian, oh, that's evil. You can't pray. You're supposed to love your enemy. <laughs> they don't understand the scriptures. When the scriptures talking about love your enemy, turn the cheek, that's talking about like dealing with the, your uh, brothers, you know, like other Israelites. If you about to get in a fight with somebody, be the better man, turn the cheek, walk away. That's what that's talking about. That's not talking about, if you got somebody coming at you, killing you and your family, poisoning you, are you supposed to pray for them? Oh, I, I, I pray for you, my brother, as he as he's raping your wife. You got to pray for him. And that's retarded. The scriptures don't say that. That's because these Christians are retarded. Bro. I just watched the, uh, you see the Elder Tahar's video? He just put a, something about, if you, the Christians just bug the hell out. If the Christian church done bugged our people the hell out, man. They got a total, they got a, they, they don't have no idea what the Bible's talking about. They ain't got a clue. They're totally bugged out. These people are all messed up in the head, man. They ain't got a clue. Did you got scripture, sir? I'll read this while you're doing that. I'll read the rest of the scripture. I'm going to go back to that Amos. I'm going to read 9 and 9 again. It's such a beautiful scripture. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the simple kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Saving, I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, save the Lord. For the Lord, he's going to save the Israelites. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel from all nations. Right, because Israel scattered among all nations. That's another thing y'all understand. The churches don't teach that. They don't understand that. Because Israel scattered everywhere. For I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations like a corn is sifted in the seed. Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. And all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Oh, that's what they say. Oh, ain't nothing going to happen to me. I'm going to be all right. You know? And hey, that's how the spirit of America, they think America's untouchable. They think ain't nothing going to happen to them. They, they act like Russia's missiles can't make it over here. You know what I mean? Y'all going to die by the sword. Y'all going to be destroyed. Oh, proud ass spirits out here. What you got? Uh, of Proverbs 14. That's red. Oh, that's fire. That's, that's, the, you know, that's our hope. Oh, shit. All you making passion is the story. That's our hope. We, we live for that. That's the only way we can be saved. If, if there, there got to be uh, what they call divine intervention. The Lord got to intervene with this shit. I, otherwise, we, we got no hope. That's it. The only, only way we got hope is the Lord destroy this place. Go ahead. Uh, Psalms 9. And, uh, to our glad and rejoice in thee, I will sing praise to thy name, O thou most high. When my enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at thy sight. This, this, this is something you got to notice. I remember Elders and Dallas, they, they uh, made a good point. Uh, the Psalms is singing, making a song about the Lord destroying his enemies. You be rejoicing, that's like, come on, bro. Like, he, this King David and all the other people wrote have a different the, song. the whole Bible, really, they all rejoice over their enemies getting destroyed. They ain't fucking pray for them. Hey, in the kingdom, we're going to hear how the songs are supposed to sound, too, in the Hebrew. You know, they probably, probably all kind of different uh, styles of music in the songs, you know? I be thinking about that, man. I wonder what that sounded like. You know, like the melody and stuff? It's gonna be fire. I'll read that again. When my enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish with thy presence. For thou hast maintained my right and my cause, thou sittest in the throne of good and right. Since thou hast rebuked the heathen, thou hast destroyed the wicked. They have rebuked the heathen, not saved them. Go ahead. Thou hast put out their name forever and ever. Oh, oh, they put out their name for it, just like the Lord gonna put out Esau forever and ever. Ain't gonna be no more Edomites. Go ahead. Oh, thou enemy, destructions are come to a perpetual end. Destructions are come to a perpetual end. Yep. Uh, the uh, fucking Esau always put uh, 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 perpetual stroke. Uh, Isaiah 14. Oh, yeah. Got that. Oh, he's doing some fucking shit. The Lord's gonna finally put that shit to the end. 
It's gonna be it's gonna be a true world peace. You people want to talk about world peace, peace to the joints of the world. How is that gonna happen? You gotta take out the wicked first. You ain't gonna have peace on the earth if the wicked is ruling. If the wicked is ruling, there's gonna be nothing but evil and, and, and fucking war. But if oh. the righteous is ruling, there's gonna be peace and righteousness. That's that scripture. I'll get it. And, uh, it says, uh, O thou, o thou enemy, destructions are come to a perpetual end, and thou hast and thou hast destroyed cities, their memorials prepared with them. But Yahweh shall endure forever. He hath prepared his throne for judgment. He shall judge the world in righteousness. He shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness. Yahweh also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in time of trouble. They that know thy name will put their trust in thee. But thou, Yahweh, hath not forsaken them that seek thee. Oh, he's not forsaken them that seek him. So if you out here singing the Lord, trying to find out the truth, you know what I mean? The Lord going to deliver you, man. But most people, they're not seeking, they're not seeking the Lord. You know, they, they don't care about the ways of the Lord. All they care about is they self. The what they want to do. Is there more to that? Well, you just quoted this scripture pretty much. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bears rule, the people mourn. Now, is people out here rejoicing? Hell no. Ain't nobody out here rejoicing. Everybody out here complaining. Everybody out here miserable as fuck. Why? Because the wicked are they, the wicked is ruling over you. The so-called white man is ruling over you. He's the wicked, according to the scriptures. The Edomites, according to the Bible. So hell no, ain't nobody out here rejoicing. Everybody out here mourning. You know what I mean? People, they can't even afford to pay the goddamn rent. Ain't nobody rejoicing. <laughs> it's alright. Really, everybody, man, there should be people teaching the Bible everywhere out here. They just look at us like we don't even exist. We got here teaching, you know what I'm saying? It's either they're going to talk shit or pretend like they don't hear us. Y'all can hear us, man. Y'all can see us. But yeah, I mean, what do you expect? You expect people to wake up to the truth? You know what I mean? That's being naive. Most of these people ain't going to wake up to shit. They're going to wake up to a missile. They're going to wake up to... Oh, that's a old heavy metal song. They're gonna wake up dead. That's what they're gonna wake up. It's, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 6 and uh, 24. But the multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world. Oh, yeah. The wise king is the upholding of the people. <laughs> the wise kings are upholding the people. Bro, look who they got ruling over us now. And those wise kings, they're a bunch of, a bunch of devils, a bunch of jackasses. Incompetence. You know, they evil. Trump, Donald Trump, that they, you boy don't never tell the truth. He don't give a goddamn. He gonna lie, lie, lie. He don't care if you got it on camera. He's still gonna lie. He does not care. But that's all the leaders. All the politicians, they all like that. There ain't no wise leaders. I ain't no philosopher kings out here. You know what I'm saying? Like we was in our kingdom with King David ruling over us over us. You know, King David, he was a prophet. He was a philosopher. Same with King Solomon. Now we got some some, some assholes ruling over us. They not, yeah, they don't believe in righteousness. Oh yeah, your Donald Trump would have had Melania Trump. She looked like a vampire, you know, off one of them cartoons. But they, they had the nerve to read the Lord's Prayer. You know what I'm saying? They actually did that. They're trying to get these stupid Americans to, oh, they're Christians just like us. You know what I'm saying? That should show you the deception of these devils. You know they don't believe in that Bible. Oh, they had that video that asked Donald Trump. He said, oh, the Bible is my favorite book. They was like, well, what's your favorite scripture? Uh, he was like, uh, all of them or something. I forget. You know, he didn't even know those scriptures. He don't know the Bible. He don't give a fuck about the Bible. 
Just like Obama. Oh, what's that scripture? How you take the word of my mouth? Obama used to bring out scriptures. You know, pretending like he, you know, he was a righteous man. He ain't no righteous man. He's a devil just like Trump. You know, these stupid ass people think there was a difference between Obama and Trump. And that's why y'all gone, bro. They caught up in that left wing versus right wing mentality. You know, that divide and conquer. They fall, they fall for all the tricks of the devil. Hey, we, what's the scripture say? We not ignorant of the wiles of the devil. The, you know, this devil, he set up that right wing and left wing shit just to keep the people divided and at each other. Behind closed doors, the, everybody on the left and right, they on the same team. Uh, what you got, something? Psalms 37 and uh, 34 says, Wait on your hour and keep his way, he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. Oh, if you keep his way, he go exalt thee to inherit the land. I'm oh, sorry, go ahead. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. Oh, when the wicked are cut off, we're going to see it. We're going to see when our enemies fall. The scriptures also say we're going to wash our feet in the blood of the wicked. We're going to tread them down. We're going to tread down their ashes. It's going to be under the soles of our feet. And that's a gift. I'm trying to get that scripture. Go ahead. I gotta get this. It says, uh, it says, uh, and he shall exalt the fear of the land when the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. I have seen the wicked in great power and spread himself like a green bay tree, yet he passed away, and lo, he was not found. Yea, I saw him, but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man. Right for the end of that man is peace. Peace was the whole point. It was after the wicked gets destroyed, the righteous is going to inherit the land, then it's going to be peace. It's going to be peace. And right now you can have peace. You got these fucking wicked ass niggas ruling. Each, that's one thing too. You tell people that America, you tell America's history and what America's doing right now, and they going around destroying shit and being a fucking demon. They go, like, what are you, you a terrorist when you hate America? I, I hate all these goddamn nations. Like, Iran, man, I fucking hate North Korea, but. America is the wicked. Fuck all of them. You know what I'm saying? But the point is, America is the most wicked, and that's the that's the that's the place that love's gonna have the most judgment. Cause they they're the Edomites and they put us in captivity. All the other nations did this as well too. But we on we on really we on, we, on, we are not on anybody's side. We're on the Lord's side. We pray that Lord gonna destroy each and every one of these goddamn demons. Yep, Fucking they, Chinese, they, goddamn Russian me. You might like a little Russian a little better just because they got better missiles and so on and so they're gonna have a big part in destruction. We hate the motherfuckers too. They're gonna be put in slavery too. Yep. God damn it. All them goddamn people. And two thirds of Israel. Well, wow, you, you know North Korea, they're not allowed to have Bibles. You get locked up for having a Bible. Yeah, they hate, they, they hate us. They hate niggas. Iranians too. They, yep. they, people want to keep pleading to the Iranians, oh, please don't hurt us, please don't bomb us. They're gonna bomb the fuck out of you niggas too. Don't give a goddamn. Fuck you niggas. Uh, fuck who else? Everybody know the Lord's prayer. It says, uh, 
uh, how do you say the Lord's Prayer? It says, for thy kingdom come, thy will be done. So you're supposed to pray that the Lord's kingdom come. So when the kingdom comes to the earth, it's going to be on earth. It ain't a magical place in the sky. It's going to be on earth. And for the Lord's kingdom to exist, all these other kingdoms, they got to go. And they all going to be destroyed. They're going, it's in the, there's only going to be one kingdom in the kingdom. Ain't going to be the kingdom plus, oh, we still got America over here with the kingdom over here. It don't work like that. What was I going to get? Oh, I got songs. <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, I got this one. Uh, I'm gonna, this is Psalms 58 and 6. It's talking about what the Lord going to do to our enemies. The Edomites, chiefly. It says, break their teeth, O God, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Lord. And really in the Hebrew, Lord, it says Yahweh. That's the name of the Lord. They're going to break out their teeth, and the teeth represents their power, the military, okay, the technology, everything they got. It said, let them melt away as waters which run continually. When he bended his bow to shoot arrows, let them be as cut in pieces as a snail which melteth. Let everyone in pass away. So, Lord, he said he's going to melt, melt our enemies like a snail. We ever pour salt on a snail? I mean, that's kind of messed up, but you watch it shrivel up. As a snail which melteth, let everyone in them pass away like the untimely birth of a woman, that they may not see the sun. Before your pots can fill the thorns, he shall take them away with the whirlwind. That's talking about those missiles, them thermonuclear missiles, both living and in his wrath. The righteous shall rejoice. Listen, the righteous. And this, if you are righteous, man, this is what's going to happen. The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked, so that a man shall say, Verily there is a reward. There is a reward for the righteous. Verily he is a power to judge us in the earth. Right, so that's a reward for a righteous man is to wash our feet in the blood of the wicked. And we ain't telling nobody to do no violence or nothing crazy. But when the Lord come back to the earth, he gonna give us power over, over the devil. And we gonna tread him down, you know what I'm saying? Just like the scripture said. We gonna beat him to pieces. The Lord gonna give us actual spiritual power. We're going to be like superheroes out here, bro. He's going to give us power. We're going to beat all these heathens to pieces. And the Lord going to set his kingdom up. I get a, what's the other scripture? Oh, let me get this right quick. That's why his old pastor don't teach the Bible properly. He ain't going to teach that. If he taught that in his church, everybody would run away. They'd like, oh, you crazy, pastor. Pastor, I lost his mind. What's up, how to get? I got it. Uh, ooh, I like the way my revelation looks. Revelation 2 and 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I get power over the nations. So what's keep, what does it mean by keeping the works of the Lord? What's the works of the Lord? He told us to go, uh, he teaches this gospel on the streets. You supposed to go, you got to do his work. And doing the work, the work of the Lord means you teaching his word. You out here teaching. Okay, you come on the streets and see. You make videos, you put them on YouTube. You're constantly teaching people. Okay? And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And we just said that. So the Lord, we're going to have power over all these heathen nations. And that right there proves, that proves the Lord's only dealing with Israel. Because we're going to have power over all the nations. So he's going to give us power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter, they shall be broken to shivers. Even as I received of my father. Right, so the Lord said we're going to rule over all nations with a rod of iron. What do you do with a rod of iron? That's for cracking skulls. Okay? That's, you know what I mean? You see that, that rod of iron, you're like, boy, I'm going to do what I'm told. You know what I mean? We ain't messing with, we don't want no parts of that. And it said we're going to break him to pieces. Like a, like a piece of pottery is broken. We're going to break him to shivers. So all the heathens, they're going to get broken to pieces. Like this? Like this? 
Yep. I mean, they, they made us through. They just got niggas selling crack, fucking prostitutes in the church. They fucked us up. So the Lord, the Lord is right to us. It's about, it's about judgment. You people will call it karma. Really, it's about judgment. What you done to us is going to be done to you times two. Hey, that's, righteous way. that's the golden rule, bro. Yes, right? Sir. Yes, sir. You got to do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Yeah, that's, why, that's why during the time of slavery, they had that, well, they had that slavery, the, the, the slavery Bible, where they took out, what, like 50% of the Old Testament. They took out all kinds of scriptures. Yeah, out. and they took out, like, a lot of, they, they skipped a lot of stories, a lot of, a lot of the uh, parts that Moses, and, like, skipped to his, like, his, like, his, he was, like, older and shit. Oh, let my people go, they took that out? Yeah, they took You know they took that yeah, out. Yeah, they took it out because a lot of, like, look, look at these different men, like, Moses, look at, jo let's, let's look at Joshua. What did he do to his enemies? When he, when he went and destroyed his enemies, he put his, he put his foot on his enemies' necks. He gave praise to Yahweh Bush Miao Shah. He didn't try to be all happy and all we love each other. No, he, he destroyed his enemies. Just like Moses, he destroyed the, uh, the fucking flood, the, uh, what's called the sea, the Red Sea. You know what I'm King David, they, they, all, they all destroyed their enemies. And that's what the church don't want you to do. They, the church just wants you to love every goddamn thing. But that's not, that's not what the Lord wants you to do. That is true. Everywhere in the Bible, the enemies of the Lord were getting destroyed. That, that's a constant theme, reoccurring theme in the scriptures. But heathens getting broken to pieces, man. How's it, man? This is what. Yeah, whatever. Hey, you just think, man, it's like, what have y'all been taught? You see the bullshit they've been teaching these people? And up in these churches? Hey, they none. None of these Christians teach slightly resembles the truth at all. Daniel 7, 26. It says, But the judgment shall sit, and they shall take away his kingdom dominion, to consume it and destroy it until the end. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High. His kingdom is everlasting kingdom. All dominions shall serve and obey him. Ooh. All dominions shall serve and obey him. So that, man, that's fire. shall never be destroyed. Oh, that's another thing too. The Christians, they teach that uh, when the Lord come back, he gonna come back and he, he gonna only rule for a thousand years and he gonna leave. And then Satan gonna come back. That's what Morales said. Well, he said, so he said, uh, he do uh, he saw it gonna rise up after a thousand years and he gonna fight him. <laughs> he said that? Yeah. Oh, shit. But that, that already happened, bro. We already ruled for that thousand year period back in the dark ages. Then the devil did come back. Put Israel in slavery. Now, we read the book of Daniel. This is done by the time of the end. Okay, now we at the time of the end, and it's going to be an everlasting kingdom. That's the thing, that's the about the Christians, too. You know what I'm they talk about, it's like, it's like, they, it's like a never ending destruction with them. They'll they take the guy, go to hell, whatever. It's a never ending burning. But the Lord is about, personally, about peace. Even these other nations, even these fucking Elamites and they're gonna be chilling, man. They're gonna be happy that we rule after that thousand years, after that thousand years. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna be chilling. They're gonna be happy as fuck that we rule. They're gonna be coming, learning from us. Oh, this is how you do it? Okay, we go. You know, of course, they're gonna be going off here and there because they're gonna be like us right now. You know how we go off and shit. We gotta go, you know, here and there. We gotta come and correct the ass. But still, all in all, they, like the script says in Isaiah 14, that there's gonna be peace. The nation shall lie, and all, every nation's gonna be in their own little land, chilling. You know what I'm saying? Because they know that we rule it. You know what I'm saying? But the Christians, they say, oh, we're going to hang with the burn forever. It's a continuous fucking destruction. It's continually uh, fucking uh, suffering forever and ever. Like, God damn. I, there ain't no mercy in that. They claim they talk. They, they, they The church the churches claim they preach mercy. They ain't teaching. There ain't no mercy in telling someone they're going to burn forever in hell. Where the mercy at in that? Hey, mercy? That's fucking, that's crazy. Forever, ever? 
make no damn sense. I'm sure the Lord could do that if he wanted to. But the scriptures don't say that. Y'all, y'all pass. You know what I mean? It's Christmas, man. Ah! That's why, that's why, that's why the, the, the way to really end all of this war and shit, he saw all of his little people that be destroyed. Because he's made to be the wicked man. He ain't never going to be right. So the Lord got to do all this. They're going to be exterminated. You know and then eventually the Lord will probably have mercy on their souls. I heard the elders say it once. Hey, he go change their nationality. You know what I mean? Turn him, turn, turn, they gonna turn him into a regular heathen. Yeah, like, like, like probably like a tribe of Dan where they all got pushed into another tribe. Because really all the spirits and, the, and the, everything come from the Most High. Really, we're all part of the Most High. We all come from his breath. It says, uh, and those, uh, let's see. The world shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people. They shall break in pieces and pursue all these things and these kingdoms, and they shall stand forever. For as much as thou sawest that the stone was cut out of the mountain, for hands turned on Yahweh Shai, and that it break in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay, and the silver, and the gold, the great God hath made known to the king what shall come to pass hereafter, and the dream is certain, and the interpretation thereof sure. They said the er interpretation thereof sure. We got that short interpretation. It is like one interpretation. There is no, what is the scripture said? There's no private interpretations. That's what Christians love to say. Oh, that's just y'all interpretation. Shit, you motherfuckers, man. These people would never listen. You can give them all the proof in the world, bro. They ain't gonna listen to nothing. That's because the Lord put the blinders on them. That's how you know the Most High is real. Just because, look how, because, you would think it would be impossible for people to be this this slow, to be this mentally challenged. What's another word? To be this stupid. You think it would be impossible. Like, how is everybody so goddamn stupid? That's because the Lord made him like that. That's how. I was thinking about the scripture. I was going to do. Oh, I forgot it. Oh, yeah, we was talking about the kingdom. I got a kingdom scripture. Look at that, Matthew 19. That's a Matthew 19 and a 28. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Actually, you know what? Is that right? All right, let's read that. I'm going to bump it up. Matthew 19 and 25. When his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, saying, Who then can be saved? Yahawashai beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with the Most High all things are possible. Oh, uh, the church is love the church is love to read that down there. They don't keep on reading though, do they? No, they do not. But with the Most High all things are possible. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have there for? Right, because that's like us. We forsake everything to do this work. We don't give a damn what our family thinks. We don't give a damn what our boss or our job thinks. We don't give a damn. We're going to come out here regardless. You know what I mean? We, you get all kind of enemies from doing what we do out here. for teaching the Bible. But if people in the world, they're wicked. You know, a wicked person don't like it when people teach the Bible outside on the streets in public. Yeah, wicked demons don't. You think demons like that? Demons don't like that. Demons hate the light. They are afraid of the light. And Yahushua said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me, excuse me, verily I say unto you, that which ye have followed me, in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Oh, that's why the Christians don't read that part. They read with all God, all things is possible, but they don't read this. Because that's telling you in the kingdom of heaven that Israel is going to be ruined. The kingdom of heaven is the kingdom of Israel. That's another name for the kingdom of heaven is the kingdom of Israel. Because the Israelites is the chosen people of the Lord, and the Lord is only coming to save Israelites. The Lord did not come to save all nations. Salvation is for the nation of Israel. Period. 
But verily I say unto you that which ye have followed me in the regeneration, oh, that's on my reincarnation. A lot of, you know, the reincarnation, that's in the Bible. It says regeneration. Reincarnation is the same thing. Now follow me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory. Ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone that have forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mothers, or wife, or children, or lands for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. That's the fire scripture. That's right, because you, you know you out here teaching the, teaching the Bible. Your your wife could leave you. She'd be like, "Oh, he done lost his goddamn mind. I'm leaving this bum. He out there teaching on the Bible. He ain't got no sense. I'm gonna leave him." You know, your family turned against you. They'd be like, "Oh, you wanted them Israelites? Ugh." You know what I'm saying? And like the scripture said, they have your. Uh, your enemy, the main enemies would be the day of your own house, your own family. That's the main people that come against you when you're teaching the Bible. Your family. What's that song where it said, uh, fear the Lord of the Lord. It said, your wife is going to be fruitful, your children going to be around the table, has fucking olive trees. Fuck this, this world is a piece of shit. Right. Said, if your woman ever leaves you because of your faith, yeah, fuck that bitch. Like, she is worthless to begin with. Well, why you want somebody who ain't got, ain't trustworthy, got no loyalty? You know what I mean? So the Lord, the Lord got rid of her for a reason. He made her, because really he put it in her spirit to leave you because she wasn't no goddamn good. So really, you got to pray. If your wife leaves you because you keep the Bible, you should praise the Lord. Go get, go get a new wife. It ain't hard to find a new wife. Women are replaceable, okay? And there's plenty of them. That's one thing that is not plenty of the truth. The truth nah. is scary. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's something you should be scared. Like, you know, you shouldn't be scared of losing shit in this world because you can replace that with something else. Yep. The truth is not replaceable. Hey, right? That's true. It's not replaceable. You know hey. The Lord take it from me. Once I mean, the Lord get, you know, pray, the Lord get back to me. Hey, if you don't get back to me, come on. But if you lose a woman, it's not, you know, all, all is not fucking, all hope is not lost. You just go. You gotta get over it, bro. Yeah. You gotta get over that shit. Yeah, it's like, you know, bitch, huh? it's like 10 bitches out here. You know what I'm saying? Just for example, there's a lot of bitches out here. Yeah, and why limit yourself, you know? Hey. That's why I said you gotta try for the master. Try for this. Don't try to. And that's the real wife right here. You better pray this woman don't leave you. This, uh, Revelation 11, 14. The second world is passed, and behold, the third world is coming quickly. We're talking about war, World War III. Jazz, World War I, World War II. Now you're about to go to World War III. Yep, World War III. Everybody know about World War III finna come. Y'all know that's coming. So how, how you supposed to, here it is, you know World War III finna pop off. How you supposed to be acting? What's supposed to be going on inside your head? You know what I mean? What you supposed to be doing with your life? Yeah. Go back to that. I ran that shit again. That shit. Niggas, their niggas literally pleading to Iran. How about you plead to Yahweh Shemeshah to protect you? Yeah. Iran ain't gonna protect you, niggas. They gonna be looking out for their own nation. They gonna be looking for you. Yeah, they, yo, what's that called? That's just, they kill, that's just collateral damage. They don't yeah. give a fuck. They gotta do what they gotta do. A lot of Jakes in Iran anyway. Yeah, they get destroyed too. Yep. Unless they have Jakes, unless they have They still get destroyed. Oh, yeah, unless they're the elect. You know, they're going to deliver somebody out of there. Yeah, yeah. yeah somebody getting delivered out of there. The scripture says it's got to be delivered to the nations. Yeah. There's somebody out there pleading to the Most High, you know what I mean? Sign and cry. 
to do, it's just thing. They say they praying the Lord delivering from the Iranians and America. They worried about every goddamn thing. He said, uh, the stars, oh, oh. He said, uh, the seven angels sounded, and there were great voices in heaven said, the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Messiah. He shall reign forever and ever. Well, there it goes again. He's going to reign forever, not for a thousand years. He's going to reign forever and ever. I did, so, right. They're going to be tributaries. They're going to be bowing down, licking the dust of our feet. That reminds me of, uh... What Bible are these people reading, bro? Oh, you have songs, too. It, yeah, Revelation 2 and 26, I believe that quote. Song. Well, I already read it. But yeah, it quotes. That's what it. I, I just read it, but that's what it, I believe it quotes that. It says, uh, Psalms 2 and 1. Why do you even rage the people imagine that they have? Yeah, why do you even rage them? Like, like, like a lot of these heathens get mad, and a lot of these uh, heathens, they know that America's about to fall, so they do they about to be next or some shit. Why are you raging for it? Like, this Lord ain't really for This ain't for you. You know what I'm saying? This Lord is for the Israelites. You know what I'm saying? We made y'all motherfuckers. And so we service to us. You know what I'm saying? So you, you just have the privilege to live under us, motherfucker. Because we are your greatest. To the, uh, to I mean, the, uh, it's in a heathen spirit to serve anyway. Yeah. You know? What was, it, what was they made for? <laughs> you, know, man? you gotta have servants. Not in the kingdom they won't. Oh, I don't want to hear it. What is it? Live different sea creatures and shit. Oh, man. That's, that's another thing. Man, you need to destroy for that shit, man. Like, I mean, if you're going to eat an animal, which, you know, certain animals you can eat, fucking kill it first. Man. Don't fucking yeah, they boil it alive. But what about motherfuckers eat lobsters? Our own people eat goddamn lobsters. They drop that motherfucker alive in the water and listen to a scream right before they eat it. Oh, how ap how appetizing. Oh, yeah, you do. Fucking you fucking sick. tortured a fucking creepy-ass sea creature and you ate it. After you tortured it to death. Niggas eat fucking squid and shit, Who the fuck you eating squid, bro? I mean, that's in the scriptures. It, that's it. You ain't... If it ain't that come out of the water, the scriptures say it has to have scales and fins. But you ain't got to tell, I ain't got to know the scripture to know that you ain't supposed to eat a goddamn octopus. Especially if it's in the life. Oh, yeah, you see the dishes with the tentacles moving? Yeah. Hey, that's a heathen, bro. So you're going to tell these people are goddamn heathens, bro. Yeah, but it's the heathen. He's like, yeah, he's like a crab. He turned on his back. He, like, he like stabbed him up in the damn nervous system or some shit. Then he put it in the little boil thing and made it fucking boil and shit. That's just like vocab Malone eating a jellyfish. I would never eat no foul shit like that. The kings of the earth set themselves in the ruler to take counsel together against Yahweh, against the noise of sand. Let us break their bands asunder and cast away this force from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh, the Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath. All right, because they think, we gonna, like Esau going to go into slavery. And they're going to pray that they get out of the slavery, and the Lord going to laugh at them. You know what I mean? They're going to stay in goddamn slavery. Then they're going to get exterminated. They said, they said they cast their bands and swords from and then Mozart laughed at them. You know what I mean? Read that part again. I'm buying you some lunch. Kings on the earth set themselves, like, uh, set themselves and they like, take counsel together against Yahweh and against his anointing, saying, let us cast his bands as hard as they Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cast away the force from us. That's, that's the thing, too, but like, like, uh, uh, the, uh, unclean food and shit, all that shit, cream, all that dumb shit, that shit is designed to kill niggas, really. And to, uh, and to keep the Latino Native Americans down. You know what I'm 
what I'm saying? But the Lord's gonna laugh at you. Like what he said, the accuser of my brother. Like Esau's telling you, look, 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 people are doing this. Look, niggas, you know, people sagging, being niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A hey, bunch of alcoholics and drug addicts, too. First thing they do when they wake up in the morning, they go get a 40. You know what I'm saying? These people are bugged out, man. I set my king, he said, yet yeah, have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion, he will declare the decree that I will have set unto me, dark my son, this day I have forgotten thee. Ask to me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. Oh, he said, he said, I will give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. What is that? Who? That's what? That tells you <laughs> that in the kingdom of heaven, Israel, we're going to rule over all nations. And the heathen, all the other nations are going to be our property. That's our inheritance. They're going to be literally our property. That's what the Bible says. It don't say God loves everybody. The Bible doesn't say all nations can be saved. No, it says that the heathen is going to be Israel's inheritance. And we're going to rule over all these heathens. That's in the Bible. Clear as day. Hey, read that again. Hey, well, maybe you read it wrong. That's me, and I shall give you the heathen for thy inheritance. He said, ask of me. So we were supposed to ask the Lord. And Lord, please, will you put these heathens under our feet? Sir, the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. The uttermost parts of the earth for our possession. So we're going to rule over the whole earth. Up to the uttermost parts of the earth. Shit. We have little... We go down to Antarctica, bro. Ain't nobody down there. We'll be down there. We'll turn it into a beach, a beach resort. So. And we're going to be going to other planets, too. The Lord, he's he just not going to give us the whole earth. He's going to give us whole solar systems, galaxies. But that's too much for a fool to understand. He goes too deep on him with that one. They really, they say, if we say something like that, oh, we're crazy. We're going to travel to other solar systems. How else are you going to get to another solar system? How, how, do you, how do you get there? The angels can do it, huh? Niggas believe Way more advanced than you niggas. Right. Because so. right now, to get to the closest solar system with, with the current technology, it take like 100,000 years. 100,000! If you was going to pass the speed of light, it would still take over a long time. Go look it up yourself. So there's only one way we can get there. The Lord got them ships. Yeah, I don't know how they do it. It's got... Go as fast as you can, or you, you got to turn you take a fucking time, you know what I'm saying? you know, it's going to take a time. You know, you yeah, like Actually, yeah, the universe is endless, man. You got to get Earth first, you know what I'm saying? That's going to take a minute, you know, we're going to go out there. Yep. It's going to take literally eternity. But we're going to have eternity, though. Yeah. We're going to have all the time in the world. We're going to be, uh, we are gods, but we're really going to be gods in the kingdom. We're going to be traveling through outer space, bro. Says, uh, thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, and thou shalt dash them with a potter's vessel. Oh, that's it, like a potter's vessel. But the Lord saw all these heathens, they're they going to get broken into pieces like a potter's vessel. Like I said, you take a piece of pottery and just throw it on the ground like, pow, it just shatters everywhere. That's what we're going to do, do to all the heathen nations. They're going to get shattered. They're going to get broken into pieces. Like, yeah, you ever do that for fun? Just break the pieces? Like, ta <laughs> Just shatter. That's the weirdo spot. That just sounds good. That rolls off the tongue. Oh, I got a note. Let me get it. Go ahead. The strangers shall stand and feed their flocks, and the sons of the aliens shall be the plowmen and fire dressers. He shall be named the priest of Yahweh. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. He shall
shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall you boast yourself. Right. We're going to eat the riches of the Gentiles. I mean, it, who is that? So that clearly means that Israel is going to be ruling over all the heathen nations. Clearly. That's another end, end time prophecy. About when Israel get put back into the kingdom. That has not happened yet. And that's going to happen soon. So that's how you, the kingdom of heaven is only for the nation of Israel. That's why the Lord had 12 disciples. How come the Lord had 12 disciples? Ask yourself that question. Why do he have, why not seven? How come he had 12? That's because 12 represents the 12 tribes of Israel. Because the Lord came for the 12 tribes of Israel only. The Lord did not come to save heathens. The Lord did not come to save Hamites. The Lord did not come to save Edomites. Okay, the Lord did not come to save Moabites. He only came to save Israelites. And that's it. Hit, hit, well, I'm sorry, go ahead. They, he'll take every, everything and leave them with nothing. We ain't gonna do, we ain't gonna leave them with nothing. Esau, go, he'll take all the oil. He'll take every last drop and then he'll kill everybody. You know what I mean? He'll go steal all your corn, all your wheat, all your vegetables, and they, they kill you, leave you with nothing. Oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. He's probably gonna say the same thing. I don't mean to interrupt you. He says, uh, over the eight it says, for I am Yahweh. That's like for I Yahweh love judgment, make robbery for burnt offering, and I will direct their work in truth, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. And the seed shall be known among the Gentiles, and their offspring among the people. All they that see them shall acknowledge them, that they are the seed which Yahweh have blessed. Oh, they they are the seed of Yahweh have blessed, which is the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob nation of Israel. That's the seed the Lord has blessed. No other seed has been blessed beside that seed. The Lord don't care about no heathens. Go ahead. So, uh, in all the uh, stuff, and I will uh, really rejoice in the hour. My soul shall be joyful in my God, for he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation. He hath covered me with the robe of righteousness. Ooh, as a, that, what is that? that uh, what did it say? The uh, the garb what how to say that? The garments of salvation. The garments of salvation and the what? Uh, the robe of righteousness. Hey, Marie, cause Marie, the Revelation said uh, uh, keep your garments. Best to keep your garments. And the garment that's his truth, man. The truth, that's the you know, the faith. That's the garment. Go ahead. As a bridegroom decked for himself with uh, ornaments and as a bride adorned for himself with jewels. Oh, that's how yeah, yeah, like these women, they dress up, they got all the makeup. You know, everything they got is exterior. But we dressing up, we got the jewels, we got the diamonds, we got the, the rubies, the sapphires, pearls. We got all that, bro. We got a box full of treasure right here. That's what this truth is. The truth is treasure. Go ahead. For the earth bring it forth from bud. And as the garden, uh, like in the garden, cause the things that are sown in it to spring up. So you have a good cause. Righteousness and praise to spring forth among for all the nations. That's just fucking beautiful right there. Peace on earth, that's true. Peace on earth and goodwill to men. It's like, that's what the church is playing. But they don't tell you how you're going to get to the kingdom. They always want to talk about all oh, peace and all oh, that. But how's that going to happen? You're going to get that peace by the Lord coming and destroying this world. That's, what's going, that's, how, that's the only way it can happen. This world got, for the kingdom of heaven to come, this kingdom right here got to go. It's got to be destroyed. And that's what's going to happen. Y'all ain't ready for the destruction. Y'all think y'all's life is going to continue on every day the same way. It all, oh, what scripture is that? Hey, come on, I was in the beginning. We just read that one, too. Y'all, that is Peter, ain't it? We read that so much, I forget where it's at. I know we've been reading that scripture a lot but with that second Peter. That's the, that's cause the time we in. We in the last days, bro. There ain't a whole lot of time left. Time is a time is against us. 
We ain't got time to be bullshitting, bro. It's time to do the work of the Lord. Oh, go ahead. There shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a bread shall come, shall grow out of his roots. Talking about Yahushua. That's the root of Jesse, because Jesse, if y'all don't know, Jesse is the father of King David. Okay, so that's why I said root of Jesse. You know, a lot of people they don't even know that. You know what I mean? Like, who's Je Ask the average person who is Jesse. Are they gonna tell you? They don't know. They ain't gonna know. They might have heard of King David because of David and Goliath. But they don't know about it. Because they don't read their Bibles, man. These Christians don't read their Bibles. They'll read John 3, 16. They already know it. They read it. You know what I mean? Now they do it. I seen that with my own eyes, bro. Somebody picked up a Bible and just looked for John 3, 16 and found it. Like, oh, yep, that's a good one. Oh, the wisdom and understanding and the counsel of might. That's the spirit. The counsel of might. Because, you know, hey, that's the, the table's going to get turned. Because before, all the people that's on the bottom in the kingdom, we're going to be on top. Right now, we on the bottom. You know, we, we live in filth out here. We ain't got shit. You barely scraping by. You know, can barely afford fucking basic shit. That's why the scripture said that meek shall inherit the earth. The sooner the table's going to get turned. What's that? I see. Yeah, but in the kingdom, the, the, the people on the bottom, we're going to be on top. You got more of that? Like nah, that. go ahead. It says, uh, In righteousness shall be the girdle of his thorns, faithfulness and the girdle of his wings. Wolf also is he. The Lord returns. This is the result. Yeah, in the kingdom, bro, we're gonna have pet lions. I mean, you can get a pet lion now. He's, he's gonna fuck you up, though. <laughs> it's gonna be so peaceful that the lions are gonna no good. Yeah, the lions gonna be vegan vegans. <laughs> they fucking strong and shit. So that's possible, though. You, they don't have to. You know, some of the biggest creatures on earth now are vegetarians, like an elephant. I think hippos are vegetarians, are they? Are they? I don't know. I guess they kill more people than any other animals, a hippopotamus. An orangutan, an orangutan can rip your arms off. Hey, he's a vegetarian. Well, mostly, I think he bugs and shit too. Bad. But yeah, in the kingdom, we're going to have a little children. You know how you got a little pet? Now we got kittens. See, in the kingdom, bro, we're going to have leopards, pumas. Tigers, lions. Our children gonna be riding on lions, having lion races. Could you imagine how fun that'd be? You all your little friends got your own cats, and y'all having a race around the block. That'd be that'd be fun as hell, man. See, that's the type of stuff we think about. <laughs> that's gonna be that's gonna be fire. Shit, we are gonna have dinosaurs. Shit. We're gonna have rafter races, bro. We, whatever we wanna do, we're gonna do it. So that's the thing, Israel, we know how to have a good time, man. Esau don't know how to, Esau is a fact. He don't know how to, he's a, he's, a, he's a devil. His idea of a good time is, is having a homosexual orgy. 
That's Esau's idea of a good time. Yeah, killing animals for sport. We want to play with the animals, pet them. Esau want to kill them. You know what I'm saying? I could never kill a lion. How, how could you do that? That's how you know this man is a devil. You don't see Jake out here going hunting for animals, taking pictures with a dead giraffe. But you see these, you like the Edomite woman. She took a picture of her with a dead giraffe. And, you know, that's fucked up. Or what I want, Edomite. Then he was killing lions, and then he got ate by a lion. He got killed by a lion. That's good. And we're going to be feeding Edomites to the lions. Have a little lion's den. We just My thing is, is that history is so mysterious and so forgetful about so many things. It is mysterious. You know, at the same time that we had the pyramids going up in Egypt, those pyramids going all across the equator line. Yeah. In all aspects of the world. But along the equator line, mainly in Central America, they even have, um, they even have. You, you know, know why that is? And then what do they say? They leave out this in history. Do you know who the people were in the Central American pyramids? Those are the Israelites. Yeah, but do they know what, do you know what they call them? What do you mean? It's called the Olmecs. Well, that's, that was before. The Olmecs were the Canaanites who came over there before the Israelites got there. Well, like, uh, they left them out. Because the, the Olmecs is way ancient than the Mayans and all that. Yeah, but they were the really yeah. the people that I believe came as. But well, there was multiple people because originally in the Americas, the so people that built the pyramids. You know about the Phoenicians, right? Would you agree that they could have been the people that built the pyramids? No, the, not the only. It was the Israelites who did it. The, I'm, I'm they like, did it. They did it all across the world. At yeah, the same yeah, time. yeah. Because oh. Israel was in slavery in Egypt, and they got pyramids there. And, and then the America scriptures too? tell oh. the scriptures tell us about how the Israelites came to the Americas. Oh, you get that. Oh, oh well, what I'm saying is, is that the Olmecs were there before. The people, the natives of Well, yeah, there, there was, okay, you know who the Phoenicians are, right? Yeah, I know they that. They was the seafaring people of the ancient world. So they had been coming to the Americas for thousands, uh, you know, thousands of years ago. They come over here, they have mining operations, they get, you know, different uh, materials, and they, they will take it back, you know what I'm saying? But what happened though is they've been doing that. But then uh, about 2,700 years ago, the, 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 ten, the northern ten tribes of Israel came to the Americas and, and inhabited the North and South America. So, the, like the Mayans and the Aztecs, they, they just knew. They're, they're, those, they're, but they're the ones who built the pyramids, though. No. They won the Olmecs. The Olmecs were there before the Mayans. And I know the Aztecs. that. I know that. So, if you know that, then you know that the Mayans and the Aztecs couldn't build the pyramids. They, so they, they did build them. Because it was everything, their writings and everything, their hieroglyphs was all up in the pyramids and all that. The, uh, no, they, they added those, they came afterwards. That's what I'm saying, it's like, history's been so distorted throughout time that everybody gets misplaced and misbalanced. And that's why I'm saying, like, the Almex was there before the natives. And the, I never seen nothing to say. Have the you ever seen no Almex statues? Yeah, I know about those. They look like Canaanites. But they look like black folks, right? Not, not, not you, they don't look like you. I didn't say I was black, I said they, they look like black folks. They, they look like Hamites. Because not all they look, like Africans, right? But not all black people are the same people. I didn't that's say what, that. I didn't. I didn't say yeah, that. Yeah, of course, there's dark skinned people. Say, yeah, of course. Yeah. And there was huge statues, right? Yeah. Okay. These huge statues. Would these Almec people just choose to let me just build one little statue of my face and not build something bigger than that? These statues are huge. They're the size of cars. You understand right, what I'm yeah, saying? I, I you know. see what I'm getting? I know about it. So if these statues are so old and the Mayas are just as old for the Aztecs, then how come we don't have Maya and Aztecs statues just as big as the Olmec statues? Because there was never the Israelites never went and like built statues of themselves like that. Like the ancient Egyptians who were also Hamites, that they were famous. About, I was just talking about the Well the, I'm the, saying though, because that's the Hamite spirit, is that you know the trust in the flesh and to exalt themselves over the most high, they built statues of themselves. Like the ancient Egyptians, they, they said the Pharaoh said he was God, and he built a statue of himself. That's probably what the Omex was doing. You know what I'm saying? They exalt themselves over the Most High, and they, you know, what I'm glorifying themselves. The Israel, they, they just praised the, like the Native Americans. They praised the Great Spirit. You know what I'm saying? But then you had the wicked Israelites that was sacrificing humans. You know, doing all kind of witchcraft. A lot of our people went into witchcraft. You know what I mean? You can still see that today. Hey, show them that scripture. Uh, you got a Y'all keep being positive, all right?
Uh, we're going to show you a scripture to show you about how the Israelites came and left the land of Israel 2,700 years ago. I kind of already read that scripture before. Oh, uh, we're going to read it again. I know, it's cool. It's good to hear. It says, uh, those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Isaiah. The king of uh, Salazar, the king of Assyria, led away captive and carried them over the, uh, the waters. And so came they into another land, and they took this counsel among themselves that they would lead the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country which never mankind dwelt. Yeah, they, so they went to a further country where mankind never dwelt. Like the, like the old Mexicans, those was Canaanites, Phoenicians. So they, they, they just, they was just coming over here just getting uh, materials. They didn't really have a permanent uh, settlement. It was more like, uh, what do you call them, forts and stuff like that. They was just coming over here getting money, getting goods, so they could take it back to the old world and sell it. But the Jake was down here, they made per had permanent settlements all through North and South America. And the old Mexicans, they, they just, for one period of time. They didn't keep popping up over the thousands of years. That tells you they didn't stay there. The day that, uh, that they might keep their statues which they never kept in their own land. And they entered into Euphrates by the narrow passage to the river. The Most High then showed signs for them and held still the blood until they uh, were passed over. So though, for through that country there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half, in the same region as called Asherah. Asherah. When you go into that word, that means like a faraway land. I see a city of mother just right there. Yeah, I really believe What's up? Do you really believe that you believe it? Does it fill your heart? Do uh, you believe it? Yeah. Believe what? The Bible? Follow the commandments. You gotta do it according to the word. All right, name the commandments. Our people don't know the commandments. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not cover the neighbor. I know. There's other commandments also. Thou shalt not judge. That's not a commandment. Right. The commandment. You got dietary laws too, like the Lord commanded us not to eat pork, eat swine's flesh. Okay. Okay, it's, it's in that. That's in the Bible. See, you're not following okay. the commandments. Let me see your Bible. Let me see your Bible. I'll show you. I'll read it to you real quick. No, no, no. I can't. I you want to open it up. You got to get your own Bible. No, thank you. It's my Bible. Okay. I'll ask you what you want to And then I'll go down there to the camp and say what's this. We're not worried about this. We're worried about what we're doing right here. I'm just praying for God. Thank you. And yeah, she wonders why. He said, it, she said, does God hate me? He's like, he might. Well, I think he does. Yeah. 
Yeah, she failed that test. Yeah, like Yoda said, and this is why you have failed. <laughs> yeah, he tried shit. She came over here scoffing. Come on, man. I could barely even hear her, but. I'm oh, sorry, read that again. That was fire. Since he that have my commandments and keep with them, he that that loveth me, he that loveth me shall be loved to my father. Right, and people, that's another thing, but these Christians fucking our people up. They'll say, uh, she actually thought she was keeping the commandments. They thought there was only Ten Commandments. They actually thought there was only Ten Commandments. There was like 600 and some commandments in the Bible. All kind of commandments. Y'all ain't keeping none of them. It says, if you that love me, shall be loved my father. And I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Oh, he said, and I will manifest. She was wondering why the Lord ain't doing She thought, how come I don't have that overwhelming feeling that the Lord is with me? Because he said, if you do what he's told you to do, he's going to manis manifest himself to you. That's a weird thing, too. Christians, they, they, always, want you, they always think that you're supposed to have this fuzzy feeling. This, this feel good. But sometimes it don't feel good. Sometimes you might, you might get cussed the fuck out. And that might wake you up. Yeah, that's a that's but, a more fucking hey, feel for your you ass. You might have the feeling of fear instead of instead of feeling. That, that's the that's the real feeling is a feeling of fear. Yeah. Uh, when the Most High fucks you up, and you know what you did wrong. Yeah, yeah that's that's that feeling right there. If you know the Lord is real, and if you do that again, that's right. That's the fear, the fear of the Lord. That no warm, the warm fuzzy feeling you get. That's Satan. That's the devil. That's that warm, fuzzy feeling. That's the devil. That's a demon. That's how people be like, well, I was in church, and Pastor blessed me. I got a warm feeling all through my body. Yeah, that was that demon, in, that parasite. Paras <laughs> yeah, that was my house above on your ass. My house above. I hate these people, man. They so dumb. They... They have no clue what a man of God looks like. <laughs> they don't know what the truth looks like. They don't know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you not a what, what for? What? No, they're good. I'm, I'm slapping this up. This is when you said that dude face is smacked. Right oh, for real? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. They think a man, they think a prophet. To be a prophet, you gotta be like an old, like an old Chinese dude, like a Chi with no shoes on. Yeah, you got a wooden staff. You up on top of a mountain, uh, sitting Indian style, uh, meditating. You know what I mean? You got rocks floating on each side of you. Get <laughs> the fuck out of here, man. Shit, a real prophet. Oh yeah. Hey, right, let's get one of the scriptures. Oh. I'm about to get that. Uh, what's that? Uh, what, what, what do you, what you came out to see? That? Oh yeah, that's Matthew 11. <laughs> that's why I don't like. I don't even like people talking to me half the time. Cause you know they're gonna come up here with some bullshit, man. I don't even want to hear what y'all got to say. To be honest with you. We don't need y'all's input, man. Y'all supposed to listen, not talk. It's, uh, Matthew 11 and uh, 13. Uh, well, uh, we started. Uh, it's in there somewhere. Oh, it's in seven. It says, and as they departed, y'all shopping did the same to the multitudes concerning John. What would y'all? to the wilderness to see a reed shaken with the wind. What would you out for to see a man clothed with soft grass? Yeah, so they, it's like, what do you expect? Today he's talking about John the Baptist. He's like, what you expected? What you expect to find? A man clothed with soft raiment? I mean, somebody dressed all nice, looking all pretty. You know what I mean? That's what people think a past is supposed to be, all, you know, dressed nice, got a suit on, a tie. That's that cheap. That's that cheap shit too. That's that old okay shit. I read that again. Ha. 
it's a nice one. What would you have for to see a man clothed in so Right, because the people that look at us, bro, they be like, y'all, yeah, that's the spirit. You wearing a suit. The people they think they look at us, we're like, oh, y'all not prophets, y'all not apostles, y'all not preachers. You know what I'm saying? Because they just look at us. Because people they only judge by the outward appearance. These people are simple minded. They judge only according to what their eyes can see. They can't see with the spirit. They're not in tune with the spirit. Go ahead. They to wear soft clothing are in king's houses. So that's a cut to all them pastors and preachers, ain't it? Boy, they be dressed to kill on Sunday. Uh, dressed to kill. Who's that? Uh, Who's that prophet? Uh, Samuel, please. Yeah, when they, uh, I think it was him. He went to went to that one city, whatever. Everybody was scared. Oh shit! Oh uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the prophets ain't never coming with no good news. If they actually, well, the good news is actually bad news for the wicked. That's the thing. It is technically good news, but not for all y'all. <laughs> that's say that's the thing. We're in vocab alone. We taught him we was teaching the good news. He said, but you only teach the bad news of the good news. <laughs> you remember that? What he said that shit He said we only teach the bad news of the good news. No. The good news is good for us, bad for y'all, bad for the world. Right. Oh, he's talking about uh, the king. Damn, was that a... Uh, shit. I can't find that. First Kings 22 and 8. It says, And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, There is yet one man, Micaiah, the son of Abraham, by whom we may require of Yahweh, but I hate him, for he did not prophesy good concerning me, but evil. So Jehoshaphat said, Let not the king say so. So yeah, this prophet, he was prophesying evil against his king because he's a wicked nigga. You know what I'm saying? The prophet wasn't given. He was gonna say that too. He said, "I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugar talk too much." Uh, let me skip down a little bit. He says, uh, "Cause the first he's playing with." Well, there you go. Uh, Twelve. It says, "And all the prophets prophesied so, saying, go up to Mount Gilead and prosper in how which I deliver into the king's hand, and a messenger, messenger." That were going to call Micaiah back unto him, saying, Behold, now the words of the prophet declare good unto the king with one mouth. Let that word, I pray thee, be like the one of them, and speak that which is good. Uh, speak unto the smooth things. And they said, Well, the church is saying this, you got to speak the same way. But, uh, but hell no, nah, nigga, because that's what Micaiah said. He said, Micaiah said, As Yahweh liveth, what Yahweh said unto me, that will I speak. Right, these people want us to come up here. They pretty much, when they talk to us, they, they, they want us to say what they want to hear. We're not going to say what you want to hear. We're going to say what the Bible says. What, and that's not what you want to hear. Most of these people, they ain't trying to hear that. They spirit can't handle this word. They not built for the truth. What's that, uh, Jack Nickel? You can't handle the truth. Talk shit about you can't talk bad about nothing. Like, homosexual, you can't say he's a king. Clearly, say he's a homosexual. So much fat, overweight, what do you call it? Fat shaming and shit. Yeah, but I thought we had freedom of speech. Yeah, you get demonetized on YouTube if you call somebody fat. You know, like what the fuck? Man, you a fat piece of shit. Back in the day, that was no problem. You make you joke about anybody. Now everybody's so goddamn sensitive.
because they're wicked, that's why. I can't even think when I see these people. What's what I was about to read? This is uh, Isaiah 39. Uh, that this, we're talking about most of y'all. <laughs> that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, would say to the seers, see not, not to the prophets, prophesy not unto his right things, speak unto his smooth things, prophesy deceits. That's what most people, they just want to hear smooth words. They ain't trying to hear the truth. Y'all can't handle the truth. The truth is too too real for you. You know what I mean? It's, it's way too real for you. And that starts with that. The Lord going to destroy America with fire. That's the truth. And the Lord don't love everybody. That's the truth. The Most High hates all Edomites. That's the truth. The Lord's only coming to save the Israelites. That's the truth. And y'all be like, oh, y'all can't say that. We just speaking the truth. That's what the Bible says. That this is a rebellious people, lying, y'all a bunch of liars. A rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Oh, the law of the Lord. They don't want to hear the, we told that lady, the law of the Lord. We gave her the, we said the Bible says don't eat pork. She's like, oh, that's Jewish. But it's in the old, it's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. This is what they saying though. They say, get ye out of the way, turn aside out the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease before us. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, where the Holy One of Israel? It didn't say the Holy One of all the, all the nations. The ho <laughs> Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise the word, or be, because ye despise this word, and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay there on. And that's what they do. They, they trust in oppression. They trust in the oppression. They trust in the American system, the American politics. They trust in goddamn America. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall who's breaking forth, excuse me, who's breaking coming suddenly by an instant. And as he shall break it as the breaking of the potter's vessel that is broken into pieces, he shall not spare, so there shall not be found in the brushing of it a shred to take fire from the earth or to take water without the pit. Well, I read it. He pretty much said, y'all gonna get broken into pieces, bro. They don't want to hear that. Two hours already? Look, that battery been going like two hours. Ah, it's still going. Well, it ain't been quite two hours. Though. We're going a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. Fifteen and ten. Correction is previous to him that he sacred away. He that hates reproof shall die. Right, I just say that because we be out here teaching so long, man. Hey, what, what scripture was that? Proverbs what? Proverbs 15 something? That's close enough. I have a hard time remembering the Proverbs. There's so many of them. What, what was it? What did it say he did? He got, I got to do that again. I'm sorry. I just be dwelling on the scripture. Well, I hear a scripture, bro. I just think about it for a minute. You know what I mean? Proverbs 15 and 12, the, the scripture. Scoring of uh, ten and uh, yeah ten. Uh, it says correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way. He that he that reproof shall die. He that says. <laughs> it's a he that he that reproof shall die. Well, we've been out here in Columbus, man, over ten years teaching. And no, nobody like being reproved. Everybody hates it. It says he that hateth reproof shall die. He that hateth reproof shall die. 
He that hateth the truth shall die. Die. Look at that goofy son of a bitch. I just like, when you, I hear that scripture, I just imagine all these people we talk to. And I hear that, he that hated the truth shall die. You just get that vision. I just think, you know, we were, all the people we talk to, like right before they get destroyed, they can remember us. Oh, what's that one scripture? Therefore he shall surely be known as a prophet, but been among us. Look at that. In there a couple of times, man. It's good. That'll close my program, bro. <laughs> That's just funny. He that hated reproof shall die. That's a whole lot of death. That's a whole lot of dying. I done lost my train of thought. The prophet. Uh, you don't know where this is. I should, I should have this memorized. Is that the like end of the Is it? I want to read out. It's like that's a long chapter. But that'd be a good one to make a video on. Camera button. Oh, it's still going though. Ezekiel 33. Oh, I'm going to take forever to find this scripture. The line of... Uh, it says towards the end. Oh yeah, that, it is, look. That, I had this memorized before because it's 33 and 33. So that's a, yeah, you're right. That's an easy one to remember. That's why you gotta go back over these scriptures, man. Uh, you be forgetting shit. Ezekiel 33 and 33. Oh, that's, I may straight the point. Actually, let me start up top a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to start at 27. Say thou thus unto them, thus saith the Lord God, as I live, surely that they are in the waste shall fall by the sword, and him that is in the open field will I give to the beast to be devoured. Yeah, yeah, we Hebrew. Israelites. Hebrew Israelites. That's what I thought. It's a, it's a matter of opinion. Yeah, it's a matter of it's, a, it's really controversial. No, no. We ain't got religion. It's not a religion. Nah, this religion is bullshit. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a nationality. It's a national. Yeah, nationality. But the Hebrew Israelites, the ones who wear white red, they they are. But they Israelites. Yeah, no, they Israelites. They're Hebrew Israelites. But they they caught up with the uh, the wrong group. Cause that group. I recognize them be some some a hateful group, man. Hateful? Hateful. I've, I've but been they, to a couple of them. And they they not, I mean, they, they teaching about 90% right. Is it the Bible? But they caught up under a, a bad crowd. That's, that's a bad crowd Bible. right there. What you reading in the Bible? What's that? What you just oh, I was reading Ezekiel. So, there, I was going to get straight to the point. So, But you're a Hebrew Israelite. How did yeah. you get involved in that? Through the Spirit of the Lord. We've been doing this for years. This is all I know. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what's up, though. Yeah, I'm you to stay with the same person, man. Yeah, but uh, whatever you got to do to get up from the game, you're true, if, you get, if your truth if your truth gets you peace, I'm all for it. I'm well, all for it. The Lord, your truth is. Well, there's going to be peace on earth after all this death and destruction happens. Uh, I ain't seen him in a minute. Are y'all recording yourself? Yeah, this is for our little YouTube channel. So people can learn learn the scriptures. And that's how I learned the truth. I learned, you know, before, I mean, I, I, I was a piece of shit, just to, you know, be straight with it. And so I, I was watching brothers on YouTube, you know, I learned the scriptures. So that's why we make the videos, brothers can learn. This is going around the whole earth. What's your uh, YouTube page? Woe unto the wicked. Woe unto the wicked. Like W-O-E, woe. 
You can do or type in YouTube uh, slash Woe into the Wicked. It'll pop up. Look at it. Man, it's over. We got over a thousand videos up there. Nuclear you know I mean? war. Yeah, the missiles. Is that, is that America's future? That is the future. Nuclear war. That get him does it use the word nuclear in the Bible? Yeah, well, not the word. Nuclear. Right. It's that thousand years old. You Man, there's a whole lot of. What, what comparison can you can, can can you compare to the word nuclear? Well, let's examine the scripture, shall yeah, we? Yeah, that's what I, I always go. That's what I say. Don't don't just tell me about it. Show, show me. Show me. In the, the show me in the word because I'll support that. There's a whole lot of. I'll I'm give saying, Malachi. show me in the word. Because I'm all for it. If you can show me in the scripture, then I'm, I'm all for it. I support it. But at the same time, there's things that are in the old scripture that are in the new scripture that you don't have to follow by because Christ came to bring new covenant, right? Or no, right? it's all, he coming to the the come in the volume of the book. I'm saying, this is all scripture is given for the right, for the grace. What's that? Yeah, yeah. Timothy 3, 16? Well, you're supposed to follow the whole Bible, not just the parts you like. Yeah, but it says an eye for an eye and two for a tooth. Is that true? Well, now there's mercy, though. Now there's mercy because the Lord forgives us of our sins. What? Before I, the Lord came, there was no forgiveness of sins. I didn't ask you to go somewhere else. I asked you. That's it the same thing. It says an eye for an eye and two for a tooth. Is that true? That is no longer true because the right, Lord... Right, because Christ comes to bring new covenant. For, for, so that no, does, the Old Testament forgiveness, doesn't apply, right? No, covenant? it does apply. What's the new covenant? The New Testament. Again, get, uh, Romans 3 and 31. It, it does still apply, though, because because there's forgiveness of the law. Like, when the Lord caught that lady in the act of adultery in John 8, she got caught committing adultery according to the law that's punishable by death. But he had mercy. In the Old Testament. But listen, he had mercy on her. And what did he tell her? He didn't say, he said, go sin no more. So he taught, it's a sin, what she did. What she did wasn't right. But he had mercy. to a thing called mercy. And that don't mean you... Yes, my son's name is David. I named right. him after King David because he is a man after God's own heart. That's, that's my Holy Son's name. That's the Old Testament, right? Yes. He committed adultery and he committed somebody's murder. The Lord still have mercy on him. And that's in the Old Testament. Yeah, it's murder. The Lord still have mercy. Sure. So that's, so that's mercy. So that's yeah. so the, look, the new the new covenant is, is, is the same thing as the Old Testament, pretty much. Mercy. It's, 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 so which one do y'all listen to? The old or the new? Both. It's the same. Because look, he said, he said, he said, look, look, he said, he said, he said, the new covenant is what? I'll make, I'll uh, put your, my laws into your mind. So laws is what? Where's the laws at? It's in the Old Testament. So the, the, the laws. I'm not old. Uh, yeah, of course, not all old. of it's, you know, some okay. in the new, but you, yeah. know, you know what I'm trying to say. But I'm saying, show me this in the Bible. Oh, they, uh, they, uh, they, uh, what's that? You don't got us on this now. We got to hit this. You scripture. think that they about to come? They got three, three. No, I want to say. Aliens is about to come. No, no, no I know that's aliens. Nuclear. That's a nuclear bomb. Ain't no what aliens. I want to say is the spaceships is the angels. I want to see where it says nuclear holocaust is in our future because that's what that is. That's a nuclear war. Right, right. We got it. This is important. So you said what the aliens? No, no, no. The so-called UFOs. That's the that's the angels. You know what I mean? All the spaceships, the, the, the sightings they see. So that's I, the I, angels. I believe what some of that be true. The giants. Watch, the they giants. The giants. There was giants there back then. There was giants. But but we all know, hold on a second. There's a whole lot of topics. That, we could do an hour lesson on, on all that. Giants, you know, you know, and she want to know all this. All right, call me. Call me up to you handle your business. Hey, call me up to you handle your business. I gotta catch my bus, baby. Fellas, so stay encouraged. Man. All right, I see how you do it. Mashallah. No, I gotta go. I right, see so you come here and stir up trouble and leave. You see how they do it? Hey, hurry. Hey, this is about to die. Hurry, get that scripture. Fast, fast, fast. Uh, do we then make void the law through faith? God do, forbid, do we void the law through. I'm oh, sorry, read again. Uh, do we do void the law through faith? God forbid, yeah, we establish the law. That we do not void the law through faith, we establish the law. Hey, we gotta go. Camera about to die.